Hey guys, so I'm back again with another cheap DIY home decor project. So I've actually been eyeing this paper mache like moose deer head from Michaels for the absolute longest and I had no clue what to do with it until I found this picture off of Pinterest and I was like, I could totally DIY that. So we're actually going to have to cut off a lot of the antlers and the ears so I have some box cutters I also have some paint and a paintbrush you're definitely gonna need more than one <laughs> and some fake flowers that I picked up from the dollar store so this entire project only cost me about 10 bucks with my coupons and stuff um, but you can definitely get those coupons off of Michael's app or if you just google it and stuff so when you're cutting off the ears and cutting off like these little extra branches off of the antlers make sure that you're just being careful and that you're on a surface that you either a don't care about or b have like some cardboard for protection so this is what it looks like before and this is what you want it to look like we just want it to be one continuous horn rather than that antler so I'm going to take this floral tape so I can wrap it around the horn to cover the holes so that we can paint on it. And don't worry about it being a different color because we're actually going to cover this entire thing with some white paint. You want to make sure that you cover the entire thing with some white paint so that it gives us like a good canvas to work on and like a nice base layer for when we have to paint on it later with some different colors. So just make sure to cover the entire thing and let that dry so that we can add on the details. So I took out some black paint and I'm gonna mix it in with some white just to make more of a medium gray color. I already did one side, but I'm gonna show you how I do the lines in the skull. Now I was definitely referencing some pictures off of Pinterest and Google. <laughs> so definitely I have some of those pictures handy so that you can see like, the shape of the eye socket and like where it's supposed to go as well as the nose socket and thankfully this little like paper mache skull or like base has kind of like some curves that you can follow and kind of just guesstimate where it needs to be so that makes it even easier but these shapes are very organic so just take your time and be free with it I even show you later on um, me shading like closer to where the lines are like along the edges just so it kind of makes it more three-dimensional it kind of gives this effect to where like the bone is like a little raised to like where the lines like the fault lines are so the longer you take blending and just working with those shades um, the more realistic you can get it to be but you can also just like stick to the lines if you'd like it to be a little bit more simple but I painted the ends of the horns black because now I'm going to paint the rest of it in this mustardy tannish color now this doesn't need to be perfect either, um, I was just very rough with it. As you can see, I actually have some black on my brush already, but I wanted it to be very natural and rustic looking, so I was okay with that. Then where the colors meet, just, you know, flick your brush up. And now I'm taking some gold leaf. So this is just going to add even more dimension to the horns and even make it look more antique looking and just more expensive than what it really is, to be honest. So 
so after you're done doing that you can now add on the flowers um, once you've painted both of the horns to your liking you can just like glob on some hot glue on your flowers and arrange them how you like so I wanted to go with more like warm toned flowers and I added some greenery in there and I even added some pom-pom balls that I had left over and I thought it was just a cute little chic touch and it made it very different and it added even an extra pop of color, but it still has like some pastel colors going on and I just love how it turned out. So I hope you guys liked how it turned out as well. Please let me know what you thought in the comments down below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching.